Being very entitled and controlling, narcissists have no difficulty stepping all over your personal boundaries, so that's why I put together an extensive video class called This Is Me. It has 25 videos, written documents, guided questions. I'm gonna teach you how to have healthy boundaries. There's a link below, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. Hey Team Healthy, I want to address a topic here today that I know that virtually every one of you has to come to terms with, and that is what to do with that narcissistic individual when they keep bringing childish, immature, inane, ridiculous responses to you when differences show up. You know, now one of the things we know is that the maturation process is an ongoing lifelong process, ideally, where as each year and each decade goes by, we accumulate experiences and knowledge and wisdom and understanding that allows us to have a, a better and better style of interacting with other individuals. Narcissists, though, tend not to grow, at least not in that kind of direction. Now, they can have accomplishments and capabilities in many different kinds of ways, but when it comes time to navigating through some of the strains and difficulties, they tend to fall uh, very predictably back into childish kind of reactions. Now, there, I, I've highlighted four different ways that we can determine if a person is in their childish versus adult way of thinking when differences come. I want to give them to you right here, and then I want us to break it down and figure out you know, what to watch for. We know that a person is in a maturing adult style of, of uh, living when they're able to move beyond simplicity and take on complexity. When they, or number two, when they're able to move beyond uh, facts and beliefs and focus more deeply upon essence. Or number three, when they're able to move beyond hard agendas and focus on nuance. And then number four, we know that they're moving uh, into maturity when they're able to move beyond wishful ideals and come to terms with complicated reality. Okay, so we have four, four ingredients there. Complexity, essence, nuance, complicated reality. You know that you're well into an adult way of thinking when you're able to pull out those kind of skills and, and uh, maintain life with those kind of qualities in place. Now, I want you to just ask the question, do you see a narcissist as being able to utilize those healthy adult skills, especially when it matters the most? And the answer is no. Uh, they they are, are they are too simplistic, or they're just facts based uh, facts based only, or they have those hard agendas and they have wishful ideals, and they can't get beyond that and move to the cleaner alternatives. And as a result, there are very predictable responses that you're going to receive from them. For example, they're going to give you non-productive anger reactions when differences arise. They're very quick to respond with absurd and sometimes completely illogical defensiveness whenever differences arise. Their, their walls go way up. As a result, they wind, they wind up being more secretive. They, they tell lies. They, uh, they give half-truths because they don't want to be open and vulnerable about who they are. Uh, and then uh, throwing it back into a different direction. They also don't want to know who you are. They lack a sense of curiosity about you. Uh, they don't really have an interest in what makes you tick and what your backstory is, what your feelings and interpretations, you know, what they arise from and why they're there and why you uh, feel as you do. Uh, they're not team players. It, to the narcissist, it's all about me. And as a result, they insist upon conformity diversity and different ideas are very threatening to them. And all of that keeps them in that childishness that's there. And there are so many different uh, scenarios where that's going to be destructive and it's going to be uh, disastrous for relational growth. I mean, let, let's, let's take a look at certain things there. For example, inside family tensions. 
you're going to need to have those ingredients of knowing how to deal with complexity and, and understanding what your essence is and learning how to handle nuance and, and, and um, learning how to manage complicated reality when you're trying to manage things like uh, childhood discipline. You know, moms and dads need to be on the same page, but if one of them's narcissistic, it doesn't work out well there. Or just simply managing schedules or family of origin quirks that might be there inside your system or knowing how to deal with personality clashes. Or let's suppose that you're dealing with that narcissistic individual and you're trying to approach projects together with that individual's. They're gonna, there's going to need to be an adult way of looking at distinct goals and uh, how to uh, the, the factor in each person's emotional angles as they work on uh, goals together or projects together. Uh, you need to know what the, that other individual's history is on working on projects so you can pick up on their unique skills and preferences and, and tendencies or, or uh, you know, biases that, there might, that might be there. Or when it comes to dealing with hot topics with anyone inside family, work, friends, you're going to need to have a certain amount of adult maturity when you try to come to terms with things like, you know, how we think about politics or social issues or lifestyle practices or priorities or our, our uh, unique uh, take on religion or non-religion. And it, it requires a great deal of adult thinking there. But again, with narcissists, it's like, Mm, I don't do adult. They go back into their childishness. Now, I, I want you to notice that in their childishness, there are several uh, predictors that are uh, indicators that we can uh, predict that, that they're going to go into. For example, in the midst of differences, narcissists will think, you need to do things my way. In other words, they have raw selfishness. Or in the midst of differences, uh, basically, what that means is that if you differ from me, you are no longer an acceptable person. They can't accept anybody that uh, is too distinct. Or uh, in the midst of differences, they, they tend to use force or dogma and coercion in the way that they engage with other individuals. They certainly can't be patient with you. That, that requires a certain amount of self-restraint. Self-restraint is not in their um, um, skill set. Likewise, uh, you'll notice that it's very common that they'll go into a pouting mode when they don't get their way, or they'll go into a punishing mode when they don't get their way. Very childish in the way that they engage with you. Uh, in addition, they'll try to pressure you in non-constructive fashions to make sure that you think and do and be as they say that it ought to be. Uh, and then when they don't get their way, they become the victim. Uh, you know, your complexity uh, is uh, deemed to be a, re a refuting of them. In other words, why are you rejecting me? Or why are you uh, looking down on me? And, and you're thinking, I'm not doing that. Yes, you are. And so they, they're easily the victim and they whine and gripe and complain a whole lot because of that. They tend to hold grudges. They refuse to compromise. They refuse to try to tie down loose ends. Uh, they become uh, subversive in the way that they engage with you, they'll, they'll sabotage your efforts and then behind your back, they'll sabotage you to other individuals. Narcissists have to win and they forget that it's a relationship. It's not a competition. So you, you look at what the mature and healthy adult life requires, as I mentioned right there at the beginning, and then you compare it with that narcissist and it's like, they just bring a childishness to the equation that they simply can't grow out of. Now, the good news is this. Once you uh, commit to learning how to deal with the complexities in your life and you, you focus on what your inner essence is going to be as opposed to just all the measurables, and not that the measurables don't matter, but the essence is even more so, or you learn how to deal with nuance and you learn how to accept a certain amount of complication in reality, then you're going to have a real strong skill set that you're going to be able to draw from. Now, the bad news is you can't force that same skill set upon a narcissist who refuses to act like an adult. By definition, children can't think like adults. And unfortunately, you may have a 48-year-old adult who's still uh, reasoning like a nine-year-old child. And when you say, let's do it a little bit better than that, they'll look at you like you've got three eyeballs and think, I don't know what you're talking about. And, and they don't. 
So when we, when we see this dynamic happening, we're going to start with the assumption someone in this equation needs to be the adult, and that's you. Now, uh, when you think about that, I know that there are times when you think, it's so tedious, it's wearisome, and it's not really necessary for just one person, but there it is, and I know it can be tiring to think, well, yet again, I'm going to have to be the mature person in the equation, uh, and yet what we don't want to do is let a whining, uh, dogmatic, unbending uh, narcissist establish the pace for the relationship. So instead, it's going to require you to calmly but firmly hold on to your preferences, hold on to your opinions and your procedures and your priorities, knowing that as a uh, thinking and a, uh, a willing adult, it's going to be, those are going to be ingredients that the narcissist is not going to go along with you on. And so that being the case, you're going to need to build in a certain amount of disconnect, or maybe we can even use the word loneliness because you're not going to have the cohesion that you wish you could have. And yet I'm hoping that you can celebrate the fact that good can still come from you as you're the kind of person that likes to ponder the complexities of life in a full way and you like to live in such a way where you can let it be known to anybody that's able to digest the message. Uh, when you engage with me, you're engaging with somebody that truly wants to break things down on an individualized basis. I want to know you. And I want to know me, and I want to make sure that we're able to do it successfully together. Now, uh, it makes no sense that a physical adult thinks like a, um, a, a, a little child that still hasn't grown out of their immaturity, but that's what you're dealing with. Uh, but then that's just one more piece of complexity that you'll have to come to terms with. Let's just recognize life is messy. Life is not uh, conducive to simplistic formulas, but then my response to that is, okay, well, I look forward to the challenge that that creates. I'm up to the task. I hope that videos such as this can give you some good things to contemplate and think about, and I, I do hope that you're going to be that person that says, I want to be a, uh, in the maturing process literally uh, all the way through my life. If you've not already done so, I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button. We'll keep more videos coming toward you. And, and just know that I so appreciate you allowing me to be on your journey with you. If you have a need for therapy, and I know sometimes uh, it, it could be so helpful for you uh, to have somebody unpack some of these issues that go along with what we're talking about. I'm so pleased to be sponsored by the people at BetterHelp.com. Uh, they've been sponsoring me for quite some time now. There's a link below to their online therapy service. It's very popular. It's very accessible. And, and so if that's a need that you would have, I would strongly encourage you to go in that direction. Likewise, I've put together my classes, my online courses that have a therapeutic angle. We have, uh, and, and each one has multiple videos and written documents and um, uh, uh, guided questions, Ready, Set, Connect, about connecting well with people. This is me about establishing boundaries, free to be, finding yourself despite those controllers. We also have my webinars. We have my um, uh, Surviving Narcissist, uh, uh, Narcissism podcast. We have our website with many articles. We have my books, lots of resources. Okay, I know that there are times when you think, I wish I could have an adult conversation with this person. If it's not going to happen, like I say, you need to be that adult. Don't let them drag you down to their level. Stay, stay above that fray. And in doing so, I hope that you can remain a person of dignity, respect, and civility. That's what we do here on Team Healthy. And I'm hoping it positions you to become the person of peace that the narcissist is not able to join you on. But nonetheless, I hope that you can find your peace.